Okay, Eddie. Look at me. No, no, no. I mean, really look at me. Really scan me. Get me in your visual sensors nice and good. And now check this out. How cool is that? I can turn invisible. <laughs> Those stealth nanobots I got? Yep, that's this. I can just wander around. Well, I was going to say completely invisible, but it's like, I'm not completely invisible. You can see the wibble in the air. But come on, Eddie, how cool is this? I mean, look at this. This is amazing. Like this. This is the armor of somebody who is who is to be taken seriously. This is the armor of someone to pay a lot of caps to. It's like this is the person who can walk into a walk into a bar and say, "I need a job," and have 15 people jump up and say, "I want you." <laughs> oh yes, this is good. And you know what? It even matches my pit boy. It's like gray with yellow caution stripes. Yes, this is good. I love it. And of course, there's another thing that, you know, we had a, we have another, you know, special thing which I can do. It's like, I, I know you can't see this, Eddie, but it's like, I can actually look at something and, and know, no. Okay, so it's a sheep. But look, I, I can know how, how hostile it is. And yes, I realize it's a sheep, so it's not really a big deal. But be impressed, Eddie. It's a cool thing, all right? I love it. <laughs> Yeah, the the doc fixed us up nice, good, and proper. We have a cool, a few new, a few, a few cool new abilities, and yet you know there's still a part of me that's kind of worried. I mean, I recognize that it's not NCR Ranger combat armor, but if you look at me from a distance, it's what's going to come to mind, right? It's like, yeah. The NCR Rangers could come up to me and say, "You know, we oh, I'm sorry, sir. I realize now that that's not it, that that's not Ranger combat armor." But they're not going to say, "Oh, and therefore it's you know unluctified variant that you found in a, in an abandoned power plant that was created by a, by a Brotherhood of Steel member." They're going to say, "You shot a Ranger and painted it, didn't you?" So while there's part of me that would love nothing more to walk around in this, it has air conditioning, Eddie. It has air conditioning on the back. It's like, this is a cool armor. I would love to wear this around town. I think we're going to have to stick with this for a little while longer. It's... It's a safety issue, all right? It's like, yeah, I recognize that they know I have the helmet. They saw me with that in, in, in Novak. But I still don't want to go parading around in it. He says, after having paraded around in it, down through Good Springs Main Drive. Look, it made more sense in my head, alright? The point is, the point is that we're here in Good Springs because we got the parts for the schoolhouse. If this is, if this is going alright, I think we need to bring him to Dean. Yeah, if this works, we can finally power that thing up. Can I help you with something? Yeah, actually, I can help you because I have the inversion coal, like you said, and the solar panel we need. I don't even want to ask you how you found that stuff. Wasn't well, pleasant. I guess it's a good thing I went ahead and prepped the spot for that solar panel then. Head over behind the school and look for the dark spot where I was digging. Grab that shovel and go ahead and mount the solar panel if you will. It's just two wires to hook up, so it's not real complicated. You know... I guess you idiot-proofed it, which is good. But I also can't help feeling kind of insulted that you did. It's like, you didn't think I could handle that on my own? I, I see how it is. Look for the dark spot. Well, there's a dark spot right there. And now that I think about it, it's getting kind of late, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting close to dinner time. All right, we'll just take the shovel like you said, mount that up where the, there we go. We need a small solar panel, a shovel, and a wrench. All right, Eddie. Back to the bus, let's go grab a wrench. And you know, while we're at it, we might as well grab some spare electronics, you know? Some scrap electronics, let's grab like five of those, some fission batteries, I don't know, let's, what do you say, like ten? Do we have ten fission batteries? I think we do. Somewhere. Well, we couldn't find the fission batteries. I know we have some, Eddie. I know we have them somewhere in that van. I just don't remember where we put them. It's like, they're not on the crafting bench, they're not in the little fiddly drawers, they're not... 
anywhere you expect fission batteries to be. Maybe I put them in the ammo for some reason. I, I, I don't know why I do that, but I guess I might have done that. There we go. Let's install a solar panel. You take a look at the base of the solar panel, and it appears to have been designed to easily mount on a pipe like the one Nina has buried for you. You dig out around the pipe a little, lower the solar panel onto it, and use the wrench to tighten the mounting clamp and secure it into, pa into place. It seems extremely sturdy. The wiring is easy as there are only two wires and only two connection lugs for them to go in. It doesn't appear to matter which wire goes where, so you just plug one wire into each lug and tighten them down with your trusty wrench. As you were installing the solar panel, you quickly jot down the serial number. I don't know why I do that. This one was made by Repcon, serial number BR549. The most difficult part of this installation was hauling that thing back to Good Springs all, from all the way over to, at Helios 1. You're back, sure you can do some rest. <laughs> no, it didn't. I, ha I, had, I had Eddie carry the bloody thing. It's like, sorry, Eddie, but, uh, it's like, geez, look at the size of this thing. I'm not carrying that. All right, speak with Dean for further instructions. We shall do that. Now, Dean, I grabbed a, a few things, a, a few parts I had in my, in, my, in, my, in my little van. Hopefully, you don't need fishing batteries. How you survived that slug in your brain, I'll never know. And I'll never tell, but the solar panel is up. What's next? Well, that must have gone smoothly. You're becoming an old pro at this stuff. You ain't trying to take my job, are you? I'd hate to think I'd be moping around town the rest of my life belly aching that you took my job. Anyway, this next part is going to be tricky, but I've got faith in you and know you can handle the job. You're going to get everything powered up. But that UPS still needs some fresh parts. You'll need to install that coil, six fresh fission batteries, Son and four bitch. fresh conductors to get it online. It might sound like a hard job, but it's pretty simple, really. Everything just plugs in exactly where it looks like it should go. So all you have to do is swap out the old stuff for the new, easy as pie. You think you can handle it? Yeah, I can do that, but I'm going to have to go back to my van and find the bloody things. One last thing. When that UPS comes online, I need you to look inside and see what the output display is reading. Write it down and bring it back to me. I need to set the calibration for the solar panel with it. Ah, <sighs> damn it, Eddie. All right, let's go find out where I lost the fission coil, where I lost the fission batteries, because it's, it's somewhere in the van. I just don't know where. Bloody van, you with a useful sorting function, and I still managed to lose the damn things. Eddie, I might have some bad news. I may or may not have turned the fission batteries into energy cells. Yeah. So, we, yes, yes, I, I know. I know we had like 37 of the bloody things, and yes, I did turn the entirety of them into energy cells. I use a plasma vendor, and yes, I realize this one doesn't have ammo, but I still turn the ball into ammo, you know, like a moron. Ugh. I, I specifically said to myself, I should save some fission batteries, you know, just in case I need something that, that needs fission batteries. And then I, then I convert them all like a moron. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, you know what? We're I'm, I'm going to regret this. Retrieve everything. If if it's in here, bring everything. Uh, okay, so we do have fission batteries. Where are they? They're not in... They're not in the ammo. They're not in the cupboards. They're not in the weapons or the armor or, or the unique weapon storage. They're not in this... They're not in the refrigerator. Don't ask me why I thought they might be in the refrigerator, but they're, they were nowhere. Where were these? All right, and now we're gonna we're gonna now we're gonna have to bloody restart the entire van again for Pete's sake. Searching the entire bloody van took us all day and all night, and now it's dark out, and I hate it. Why is my life this terrible? At least we, at least we still have the helmet though. So in theory, we we don't actually need to turn the light the night vision on. We can just do this. Yeah, that's actually not a bad effect. Of course, it means I have to be sneaking to use it, and it still completely blinds me if I try to use it during the day or in a bright place, but, uh, I mean, it's working. Yeah, but I'd rather, I'd rather just have this vision mode. Yeah, that, that works best. Yeah, it's got that ugly grain to it, 
but it means I can actually see things and move around at, at a full speed. Or, and hear me out here, I could turn on my pit boy. Don't, don't you look at me like that. Oh yeah, you, you, you laugh all you want, Eddie, you stupid bucket of bolts. All right, we need six station batteries, four conductors, the inversion coal, and 40 repair skill. Well, what the crap? Ow! Oh, laugh it up, Eddie. Laugh it up. What the heck happened there? You just got the scare of your life. As soon as you installed the last fission battery and turned the UPS back on, a loud bang came from the transfer switch to your right. Oh, no. Are, are you sure, Sherlock? You notice there is a distinct odor of burning wire and electronics coming from the panel box. It seems to be fine now. So you're able to check the voltage. You just get the readings Dean requested. Take the readings back to Dean, and he'll help you figure out what to do about the transfer switch. I'll tell you what we do. We say, look, this job isn't worth it anymore. I have a base. I have a home. I, I have two homes now. I have the van. I have the Novak shelter. I don't need this job. You still haven't paid me a bloody cent yet. Hey, Dean. Hello. What did you need? I'm thinking I need more common sense and probably also to quit. Something went wrong. Yeah, I heard it from Plum over here. You okay? We ain't got no workers' comp, you know? That transfer switch must have been stuck closed, and when the UPS powered up, it shorted out the sensors and maybe even the board. And that made it explode. It's enough to fix, though. See if you can find some more sensor modules and some scrap electronics. Collect what we need and install them in the transfer switch. That should finally get everything up and running. Okay, then. I'll fix it. Once everything is up and running, I think Paul wants you to go see him. All right, Eddie, what time is it? It's past nine. Really, this should wait till morning. But we're here anyway. We have the parts. It will take us longer to walk back to the van and, you know, get set up back in there than it will for us to just walk over here and fix the bloody thing. All right. Oh, we need to fix the... Is it, uh, yeah. The transfer switch. There we go. We need five intelligence, 40 repair skill, two sensor modules, two scrap metals. We have those. You examine the transfer switch and find two burned out sensor modules. They are simple enough to replace and you can easily remove the faulty ones and install the new ones in their place. During your examination, you also discover a few wires that become brittle and appear ready to burn in two. A little scrap wire does the trick and they are now as good as new. The transfer switch should work well for years to come. And you hear the little electronic hum of everything powering up. Oh, that's lovely. Let's go inside. And you see that, Eddie? I can turn my light off now. And we have power. We have lights. Oh my goodness, that's bright. And it actually it's really warm for fluorescent lighting. I didn't expect I didn't expect that. Yeah, this is nice and really pleasant. And does the the sorting computer is working. Isn't that lovely? Oh, yeah. And now we can sort this place out too. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, It'll be lovely for Paul, now he has a new house to live in. Hey, 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 don't walk away from me. I have brilliant news, Paul. Guess what, Paul? I think old Dean's cheese might be slid off his cracker. He told me some crazy story about some ghouls taking off on a rocket ship to the moon. <laughs> okay, but how the hell did he hear about that? It's like, yeah, crazy ghouls on a rocket ship. Yeah, that is not some common information, but... And I I don't know whether they went to the moon. Is the moon a radiator or not? I'm not sure. Anyway, not that's really not the point. I got the stuff online. And all the lights are working, computers turned on. I thought I heard some sort of commotion out there. What happened? Did you have some trouble? Uh, you know, just a minor case of something exploding in my face. Not biggie. Well, that was a nice job on the electrical system. Guess some gremlins should be expected with equipment that old. You're becoming an old pro at this stuff, ain't you? Say, I've been thinking about something. It looks like the next big project we need to tackle is getting some furniture put in there. Yeah, I suppose it was looking a bit bare. Well, I run a repair shop, not a furniture store. But a while back, I spoke with Chad about some of his suppliers. He put me in contact with a dealer that had just what I wanted, and cheap, too. That's where that bed came from. He doesn't sell the high-dollar, brand-new kind of stuff, but he cleans up what he finds, and it's all in great working order. That's why I get such good prices for his wares. 
So well, here's what I propose. You. I've been thinking about starting trading again anyhow. So when he brought me that bed, I went ahead and ordered a basic furniture package from him. He said he can ship on demand for 250 caps. He also said he's got leads on a lot of other stuff, too. Yeah, like what? Oh, several things. He has some decorations that can go in as the furniture's being set up. He said the decorations include some old miniature antique toys and whatnot. Seemed fitting for an old school to me. He also said he had an old oven he was converting so you could craft stuff on it, cook up recipes and so forth. Then there's a workbench, reloading bench, and even an old healing station and chemistry set from before the war. He's still looking for those, so they'll have to wait. He must be one hell of a prospector to find all that stuff. Especially in good condition, So here's what too. I was thinking. Since I already got in orders for this stuff, just let me know what you want to buy. Just pay me for uh, the things you want, and I'll me? get them delivered and set up. What, what do you mean, what you want to buy? What, why am I buying? It, it, it's your house. Why am I paying for this? You haven't paid me yet. Well, it's kind of like the old saying I heard as a child. Something about a chair still being a chair even when nobody's sitting in it. But a house not being a home when there's nobody there. Something like that anyway. Came from a song, I believe. Point is that I've got way fewer days ahead of me than I've had behind. And with all the work you've put into it, that well, belongs to you now. Oh. It should have someone living there who appreciates it and who will make it a home, not just some old fixed-up schoolhouse. Just make me a promise that if you ever decide to pull up and head out of here and never to return, just bring the deed back to me, okay? So when you're ready, just pay me for the furniture and decorations. After that, we can check on the other items the supplier's looking for. I'm... I'm actually honestly incredibly touched by that. It's like... I... When I fixed this up, I was thinking, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. We're not, we're not going to get paid for this, but we said we'd do it anyway, so we might as well finish it up. But, uh, wow. I, I wasn't expecting that. It's like, yeah. I, not only is it a good house, but it's my house? That's a, that's a strange thought. I, I'm going to have to try that out, try that out in my mind for a little bit. Me, Gabrielle, a homeowner. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm gonna be on the road a lot, so I might not actually get in there. But yeah, I like that. A, a nice little house in in the middle of Good Springs. A nice little cabin. I can go in and sit, sit down and have a rest after weeks on the trail. What? It's like I won't be there very often because I I'll probably get more use out of the van than out of the schoolhouse. But uh, yeah. A home, I like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, thank you. I'll take care. Of, I'll take good care of it. Well, I think I'm leaving it in good hands. So thank you. So long for now. Uh, um, um, wait, wait. We still have to deal discuss the furniture, Paul. Can I help you, friend? Uh, yeah. L let me buy the furniture, please. Well, all right. That's a steal at only 250 caps. <laughs> You're right. Now, how about those decorations? You want to go ahead and buy them too? That way we can get them all set up at the same time. You know, I'm currently floating around 50,000 caps from all the gear I've sold. In fact, I've actually hit the point where the local merchants don't have enough caps to buy the crap I have. Yeah, uh, go ahead, buy everything, man. Excellent. Everything should be done in a day or so. Thank you, friend. Come back and see me when everything is all set up and we'll see what else is available. Well, that's a surprise. I have a house! I own a house, Eddie! Okay, don't, don't geek out in front of them. Wait until you have... Wait until you get inside. Get inside the house. Oh, we're, we're so tired. We're just uh, going to casually stroll over here. Mm, oh, yeah, I'm so tired. It's a house, Eddie! We have a house! It's like, I shouldn't be this excited, but I am! <laughs> it's like... Yeah, we have a van, and that's cool, but we have a house, Eddie. Look at the size of this place. It's like, not only is it clean, it's lighted, it's got plenty of storage space, and it's ours. It's it, it, it's it's mine, but you can say, yeah, all right, fine. You, you didn't do a lot to help, but yeah, whatever. Yes, it's ours. <laughs> we have a bed with clean sheets. We have storage space. We're going to have furniture. We're going to have an oven. Which, 
he said, it's, we're going to have an oven where you can craft things. I kind of thought that's what, that's how ovens normally worked, but whatever. I, I'm too excited to, cri to critique it. <laughs> but you know what? It's been a long day. I nearly got blown up. I think we're going to have a, have, a, have a lovely night's sleep. In our brand new house. Oh, yes. <laughs> of course, that does bring up a difficult question, though. Which is that we have another 24 hours before the furniture arrives. And I'll be honest, yeah, I want to chase after Benny, but I also want to be here ch just to see what it looks like. And so that I can, you know, talk to Dean about, you know, ordering more. About, talk to Paul, I suppose. You know, talk to Paul about ordering more. But that means we have, uh, well, a full day to ourselves, Eddie. So what can we do in the local area? Well, I suppose we can go check out Vault 40. We can look at the canyon wreckage. Raymond Cave, that sounds kind of interesting. We've been to the underground before, right? It was a nightmare. It was a death trap. You had all kinds of, you know, lake lurks just sitting around waiting for us, waiting to kill us. And, you know, in our premonition, we got absolutely roasted. But that was before we had this. And that was before we had this. So, in theory, I think we could probably take it. Yeah. We'll go check out you know, the underground first, we'll, we'll evaluate, see just how deadly and stupid dangerous is it in there. And then if there's good treasure, we'll continue down there. And then, you know, we'll come back here in a day and see what Dean has for sale. We'll check out, we have a house, Eddie, I can't get over it. We have a home. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. And I just, I hadn't noticed before how slowly I run with this. I am waddling at the speed, at the speed of molasses. Yeah, this is, uh, okay, we might need to do something about that. That is awful. I suppose there is one option I could use. Stepping out of character, I do have a mod called Signature Armor. What it's meant to do is allow you to take armor that wouldn't normally be combat viable and, well, make it combat viable. But it can also be used on, you know, just armor that you really like. The way it works is that it takes 10% of your XP off... Basically, it gives you only 90% experience, but because of that, some of that XP is fed into your armor, and your armor starts leveling up with you. But I don't know, Eddie. I mean... Don't get me wrong, I do like how this armor looks. It it looks bloody amazing. But stepping out of character for a bit, it seems almost cliche. Everyone loves the Ranger armor because it looks amazing as hell. Um So it's like I almost don't want to do it because everyone like everyone likes it because I'm a hipster like that. Hmm. I'll tell you what though. It is going to be the armor we're going to be using in combat. So yeah, let's quickly pull that up. We're going to adopt the electrified riot gear armor as our signature armor. Yes, yes we do. All right. Now, let's head in there and try hard not to die. Okay. Now about here is when we got absolutely roasted last time. So let's quickly check out. I'm not wearing the helmet, am I? I'm going to a dangerous place. Gabrielle, put on your bloody helmet. There we go. Let's see. We have one, two, it's like three, four, five, six, seven, possibly eight, nine lake lurks. Plus a rad roach. Okay, they definitely heard that. Did we bring any frag mines? No, of course we didn't. Why would we why do we brought frag mines? So what I think we need to do is we need to try out this baby. Oh yes. It's like, it's not, well, honestly, I don't have the strength for it. I have the energy weapon skill for it, but it's probably gonna be swinging back and forth just because of the strength, yeah. I, I can't help it. It's, it, I feel the power. Yes, yes, I do. It's like, oh, oh, you survived that, holy crap. Didn't survive, didn't survive that one though. Oh yes, this thing, this thing is too good. I can't use that. 
so we'll... Oh, hi. You have a big claws, don't you, sir? We will take... That uses a lot of action points. And this thing needs to recharge. Crap. Okay, pull up. Ow! Darn you! And you hit very hard. You hit very hard. Even Oh, hi. You have guns. Or you have, you have whatever the heck that is. Okay. Ow, ow. Hide. Hide. Take a stim back. Eddie, shoot them. How do you have so much health? Okay, we, we're gonna use vats. We're gonna use vats. We'll quickly plug you in the head so you can't do that. You can't do that, whatever the heck it was. And you know what I think it is? I think it's time for, for laser rocket launcher. No, no it's not. Go away, go away. Vats in the head, vats in the head. Down you go, come on. Away you go, thank you much. Yes, distract them. Distract them, Eddie. Block the bullets with your face. Okay. I think we might survive this. And we get animal control rank three. Oh, we got one more. And just like that, our armor levels up. What do we want? I think we need the active one. That's the one that gives us bonus action points for generation. Okay, that was actually a lot tougher than I thought it would be. Like, yeah, we might need to start using the VT191 a lot more. Just cause, yikes. Yeah, that is a lot of yikes. Oh, we still have one or two, three more. So it's not a terrifying issue. But we can, you know, quickly get all this crap. That visual effect is going to get a little bit annoying, you know that? Okay, keep your wits about you, Eddie. This place is looking dangerous. Y you know, if the eight late looks running at your face didn't clue you in, I guess. Okay. What all do we have in here? We have one, two, three. At least three. Okay, yeah, this is Myrtleizer territory. What actually do you have? Right now, you have... Da -da 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 -da. Awareness medium, combat range long, hostile, 375 health points. Okay. There we go. And would you like to wander around the corner? Yes, sir, you do. Yes, this thing is working rather nicely. And just like that, we level up. Fantastic. Now, the question becomes, what do we want to put our points into? We can put it into guns. Those are always useful. Or into sneak. Sneak is good. I think we might put them into survival though, just because I feel my I feel like I'm being hindered by my inability to cook anything. Yeah, good job us. Okay, and we're gonna put it this way because the humming is getting on my nerves. Yeah, that is a good gun. And you know, there's part of me says that we probably shouldn't have it. It's like it's uh it's almost too good of a gun if 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 that makes sense. No, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense at all. It's like, you want your guns to be good. But at the same time, it's like... Stepping out of character this early in the game, I don't feel like I should have this good a sniper rifle. Like, that, should, that, should, that shouldn't happen until I've at least reached Vegas. You know, get, get the YCS-186. Like, something, on, something on that level. And we have a red mark on the compass. What are we seeing? Okay. It's just around the corner. So here's what we're gonna do. In, in that, in the name of that, we're going to get a Tesla can going and pop you in the head. Oh, you survived that. You survived that. How dare you. Go away. Okay. So we have a guy in metal armor, an underground trooper. Hello. You can keep your metal armor, that's worthless to me. Do we have any notes saying why you guys were here? No, it doesn't look like. We get a nice go for the varmint rifle. <laughs> you know, that's useful at this stage in the game. Huh. Well, we'll take, I won't say no to frag grenades. Frag grenades are useful. I would have preferred to have, you know, something to say this is why we're, we're here. This is why we're dying. But we can't get everything we want, right? To the incomplete sector. What do we see? I'm not seeing. I am seeing right on the compass. 
And we're seeing a pond, it looks like. I don't know what kind, though. We have at least one lake lurk. Can we peck this guy in the head with this? No, but we can miss completely. Come on. One more shot. Okay, so this thing is not actually working very well. Oh, hi. Oh, ow. Running again. They're going to murder Eddie. We, we need to stop this laser rocket launcher. Come on, down you go. Down you go. We can do this. We have a Tesla cannon. Just, okay, cripple him. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. That is really bad. Shoot them in the face. In the face. Oh, you're a Lake Lurk hybrid. That's not fair. Come on, down you go, 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 don't hit me. Oh, run, 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 run. Yes, Eddie, come with me. We're running. Come on, down you go. Everyone goes down. You want us? Would you like to just sit there? Yes, yes, I, I appreciate that. Because that means I can just, you know, use this. Oh, you're a Lake Lurk King. That's not fair. Ow, ow, into the tent, get some cover. You know what, Eddie? I think this might be a bad idea. It's like, yeah, we have the Myrtleizer, we have the Tesla Cannon, it's not helping. <sighs> Take a pack, heal to full. Do we have a doctor's bag? Yes, yes, yes we do. We, we brought only six bit. We have more doctor's bags than that. Why do we leave those behind in the car? That was dumb of me. Yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. If you ignore the portions where we were running away screaming. You know, other than that, it was pretty good. Now then, what do we have? We have some stuff, some... Uh, what, what is this called? It starts with an S. That's going to bother me. Scaffolding, that's the word. Like, it, it, it was going to bother me that I didn't remember the word. But yeah, this, this is nice. Wonder glue, we have a wrench, fission battery, C freaking four, hello. All the explosives in the world, that's lovely. A plasma mine, wonderful. Tools, sunset sarsaparilla. Granted, we still use a doctor's bag and, you know, two sim packs to get here, but you know, having gotten here, I'm not going to say no to all this stuff. Okay, looks like we have one door there, another door back there. That's not the way we came in. That's the way we came in. You can tell because there's all these ash piles here where we shot the lake lurks. Okay, so door there, door there, and possibly door over. Oh, it's. It can't have been. Did that feel like 24 hours to you? That did not feel like 24 hours to me. Let's at least, you know, poke our heads in here first. See what we have. Voltec, Revolutionizing safety for an uncertain future. Hello. To unuse mini vault home. Hello. Don't mind if I do. We'll let ourselves in. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello. Oh, welcome, Terminal. Hello. Let's see. Welcome message. On behalf of the underground, welcome to your new home. This mini vault home was created to house between 4 to 12 people in a safe, comfortable environment, free from the horrors of the inevitable war and the huge complex training process and re-education bureaucracy of the vault -Tec Corporation. We are even pleased to announce that we managed to persuade many top-ranking vault -Tec engineers to move to our project, thanks to the sound financial backing of the Vegas Coalition many of whom have homes waiting down there themselves. What better guarantee of your personal safety could you need? On top of these, we have some of the, of the country's leading doctors, scientists, mechanics, entertainers, and a military defense force so specialist that we can't even tell you their name. All who have been, all who have been specifically hired or have purchased property with us simply because of how much more appealing the underground is compared with any other shelters in the market. Here in the underground, you will find all you could ever want with supply stocks of food, drink, medicine, entertainment, weapons, and facilities for manufacturing all these products. No limits will be made on the amount of possessions you can bring in, assuming you get them all here in time. Our self-powering wall-mounted 4D storage units will house as many items as you require in a perfectly preserved state. 
Though in the event of an emergency, people will come first and possessions may have to be left outside. Here you are allowed to behave as you please. However, failure to respect the others within your community or your superiors will be dealt with severely, with exile if necessary. If you are a new arrival, we ask that you read the rules and regulations at the earliest available opportunity to help avoid any potential problems. Though we tried to capture the best of Vegas in the underground, we could still do without the worst. We hope you enjoy your stay and new life here. All right, let's give those a quick skim. Now, 4D storage. I've picked up a few of these. One in Doc Mitchell's house, one in the Eisenbaum maintenance tunnels. To powered by hard nanite 4D technology, any object placed within will be scanned and stored in a stasis in an entirely different time and space, even form, meaning that storage is limited only by the internal CPU housing, the content retrieval details, which are of the latest military standard. Basically, they can't be filled. Okay, that's good to know. Is that, uh, four homes now? Novak? The schoolhouse, which I'm still kind of geeking out over. We have the van, and now if we really wanted to, we could just stay down here. And we, we have an oven, we have a little storage room. Yeah, a little vaultic shelter all to ourselves. Oh, here's a nice little bedroom. That'll be for like the guests if we have if we, if we have anything over. With a master bedroom. It's like, look at this. See, Doc Mitchell, take note. You clean the bathtub, and then you also clean the toilet. You, that, that way you don't, you know, have a, have a sparkling clean toilet and, and a bathtub that's basically full of crap water. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Very nice. A lovely master bedroom with admittedly a broken terminal, but you know, you, you work with what you have. Yeah, if it weren't for the fact that we already have the schoolhouse... I could see myself living here. Yeah, this is this is good. But we already have a home that we need to go fill out and, you know, put furniture in. So we'll just quickly, you know, poke our noses in each of these ones. We'll just say, you know, look what we have. Look at the name. This is the abyss. No, <laughs> hell no. We're not going in there. This is workers barracks. And do we have anything over here that I can see? We have a lake lurk. We have a lake lurk. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Oh, we have more of them. Delightful. Dodge. Guess what, Eddie? We're not going down that way, and we're certainly not living in here. It's like anywhere where we're not absolutely certain we're safe, we're not living there. Which means that now it's time for us to grab out the Myrtleizer and kill it from the next county over. And shot him back, and I don't care who's to blame. Now the question becomes, where are the rest of them? Because I saw at least two more who came in and shot me in the head. Do we really need to be down here? We probably don't. Yeah, this this is a dumb plan. We should get out of here. He says, walking forward. Oh, I, I missed! I missed! Eddie, keep shooting them. Oh, you're Lakeler Kings, and there are there are four of you. Okay, it's time for us to run. We need to run out of here. It's grenade time. Eddie, get out of there. Yeah, we have all the grenades in the world. Eddie, move. Oh, that's Eddie down. But that worked. If you know, our robot hadn't... Oh! Hadn't been a complete tit about things. Get out of here. Where are you? Oh, are you stuck in the door? Oh, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, keep. Stop it, no. Down you go. Is that everyone? Maybe? Yes? No? Are you stuck in here? Come on, down you go, 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 come on, down you go. <laughs> yeah, this works. And unlike the Myrtleizer, I don't feel guilty using it because it's a base game weapon. Alright, Eddie, you can stop faking being dead now. Get back up. There he goes. Alright, anything interesting around here? What are the Lake Lurk hybrids, I wonder? Like, hybrids with what? What What looked at, Lake Lurk, at a Lake Lurk and said, You know what? I want to stick my thing in that. It's like, yes, I want to have children with that thing. And how much do I have to shoot them for making that? It's like... 
Oh yeah, Lake Lurkaira. That's a brilliant idea. Construction terminal. Okay, let's let's poke through this real quick. Uzzers are ground cool construction terminal. Okay, outbox waste waste location. I think we found a safe place to store the excess waste from the new power plant. The, the connecting sewer network is deep and complex. If we collapse certain tunnels and set the rest of the area into lockdown, I think we can store all our toxic waste without the threat of attracting more mutants. Run the info pass general and see what he has to say. Well, we need some extra manpower to get the job done effectively. Oh, okay, I see how it, how it works. You guys dump all your toxic crap around here, and all the mutants, and all the lake larks, you know, hybridize, become mutants, and they're that much more trouble for me. That's, that's bloody fantastic now, isn't it? Now then, we're not gonna head in here. Door to Bonnie Springs sewer. Wait a minute, Bonnie Springs. Do I know where Bonnie Springs is? I don't think I do. Never heard of that. So, we might check that out later on. But right now, we have some furniture to go check out. Yeah, it got dark really darn quickly. So let's quickly head home. Oh, this vision mode feels weird. It really does. It's like, I like it. It's useful. You get night vision and the ability to tell where people are. But it feels weird to be glowing in your own vision. Okay, head home, have a nice sleep, and then go talk to, to Paul. Oh, okay. Okay, look at this. We have a kitchen. We have a... Look, I have a couch. I can have a sleepover. I can invite Sonny over, I guess. I don't really have a lot of other friends around here. I mean, the town loves me, don't get me wrong, but it's like none of them... Oh, look, I have a guest bedroom, which is uh, right next to the bath. I mean... We have a stall, I guess, and that's nice. But, uh, we don't get, a, a, like, another door for that, maybe? All right. Your decorations have been delivered. Yes, so they have. Look at that. We have, we have gnomes. We have alcohol and food. We have a bobblehead for luck. Oh, this is brilliant. I love it. All right, we have books. Dean's Electronics. That's nice. But it's time for bed, and in the morning we can go talk to Dean. Can I help you, friend? Yeah, I just want to say, my house is looking amazing! Yeah, I took a peek in there myself and thought the same thing. I'm glad you like them. Hey, that dealer's finally been <coughs> able to find everything we talked about, and he sent me all the purchase orders, so we're ready to go. Just let me know what you want to buy, and we'll get it delivered. All right, let's do that. Hey, just one more thing. How would you like to have a little raised garden out back? You know, to grow stuff you can cook up on your new oven? What good is the oven without the ingredients you need for crafting, right? Anyway, think about it a little while and we could talk more about it later if you want to. No, no, let, let, let's do it now. Yeah, yeah, okay, you said I have an option for healing stations. That's, oh, that's, that's expensive. But 2,500 caps, let's see. Doing the math. Normally going to Doc Mitchell costs 50 costs 50 caps. So if I do if I get healed another 50 times, then yeah, that I'll break even on that. That's a, that's a hard sell, but somehow I figured that I'll need that. Yeah. Well, I hope you don't have to use that thing too much, but True. I got a feeling you'll make good use of it from time to time. Okay. And the chem lab, that's another 2,500 caps. Again, that's a difficult sell, but if I, like, do I really need a chem lab for that? Does it produce things? I, 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 guess, I guess I can make chems with that. Ah, uh, what's the selling price? What, what's the most expensive drug I can craft? Probably Psycho. So I guess I could make a, I guess I could turn a profit on that, but it would take a long time. Drugs? Drugs are bad, okay? Hey, screw you, it's, it's my chem lab, all right? Okay, a crafting oven sounds good. Hey, let me know if you come up with any good recipes, will you? Are you saying I'm a bad cook? I'll have you know that I cook the finest gecko steaks in at least Good Springs. Probably nowhere else, but I can cook gecko steaks fine. Okay, reloading bench. I don't really need that because I don't use ammo very often, and I have Eddie if I do. And there's reloading bench in town, but uh, it, it, it's there. It'll be convenient. Sure, why not? Nothing like making your own ammo, is there? I suppose. That's not really how I think about it. I, th I, I guess it's really more about convenience. I don't want to have to walk to Chet's store every time I want to craft a bullet. And the same thing for the workbench, I suppose. 
my favorite of the lot. Spent many hours at my trusty workbench. Treat her with care, my friend. All right. Okay, I have to go. Keep your powder dry, friend. I will do that, but you mentioned a garden. Can I help you, friend? No, I can't do that. All right, I have to go. See you around, then. And you know what we're going to do now, Eddie? I'll tell you what we're not going to do. We're not going to go out and, you know... Hey, 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 Dean. We're not going to go out and risk our lives in the underground. We're going to take the crap we, we have, fix it up, sell it off, spend 24 hours in town drinking booze, you know, sitting in the tavern, playing caravan, and not risking life and limb like a moron.